Hey guys, today what I thought I would do is a review on Pony Cosmetics. I was sent this stuff, so if you have a problem with that, don't watch. That's okay. Um, I will have you know though, all the opinions are my own. I would never, never, never lie to you guys. I would always tell you my honest opinion. So let's just get started. So yeah, Pony Cosmetics is an Australian cosmetic company. So you guys know I love just Aussies killing it in the beauty industry and they're amazing. I have been following their Instagram for a really long time and um, yeah, I just got really excited to try all their products because I've never gotten around to buying anything. I don't know why, but you know. So I will start off with their um, Pony Cosmetics Contouring Kit. When I first heard about this, I was like, no, <laughs> no, no, no because it's a pretty big game changer. It is actually super shimmery. I'm wearing it at the moment. It's super glowy. Um, when I first saw this and when I first heard about it, I was a little bit scared, to be honest. I was a little bit scared because I'll show you it. <laughs> it's clean. Um, okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up. But basically, it is super, super shimmery. And as well, you can kind of see, it's quite warm. Like, it's not really warm, but for a contour shade, I was like, I don't know, I don't know about this. But obviously, gave it a go, and I loved it. Loved it. Like, I thought it would be really, really sparkly, like way too sparkly, and it would just look a little bit crazy. But it didn't. It looks really nice and natural and like a glow from within. And I feel like it would be really, really great for people that are just in a hurry. And I think Pony Cosmetics does that really, really well. They make makeup that is so easy to use, so easy to apply, but it still looks perfect. Like it's such good quality and it's just amazing. So yeah, I would really recommend this for someone who is on the go or wants to get ready really quickly in the morning. I also feel like because it's shimmery, um, it's, okay, so I got a bit worried about it because it's supposed, like a contour is supposed to be a shadow. But what's actually really interesting about this one is that because of like how iridescent it is, it behaves like a shadow. So when it's in a shadow, it's darker. And then when you turn your head towards the light, it sort of fades a little bit, which is what would happen with a shadow because... <laughs> There's not going to be a shadow if there's light on it. So it just behaves like your like what a shadow would naturally do, which I think is really cool. Um, the only thing that I was like, I don't really know about was um, the blush shades. Not because they're bad, the formula is really nice and they're really blendable and they go on really well. I'm just not really a blush girl, so I didn't really use them as much as the other two. Would I go and get out another one if I run out? Totally. Um, I'd probably be more inclined to go out and get another one um, if I could just like refill these two. I'm not sure if they do that. I'm going to check actually. I'm just going to check now. Looking on the website, I don't think that they do that. But if they did, I would definitely, probably I'd be more inclined to keep repurchasing um, the contour shade just because it's unique. Um, and the highlight shade, while it is beautiful, I've got it on at the moment. While it is beautiful, um, I have a lot of highlighters, so I probably wouldn't be going out to get that specific one. But definitely the contour colour I would because it's unique. And to me, it's like nothing I've ever tried before. So um, yeah, I'd definitely get that again. Another thing I want to talk about with Pony Cosmetics is their packaging. So if you think about, like, if you were to get... Um, a really expensive foundation and it comes in this beautiful packaging and it was like $58 like say the YSL one for instance I kind of feel like you're paying for the packaging and not so much the quality of the product um, and with Pony Cosmetics all their packaging is so cute um, I haven't got like the outer packaging but that again it's beautiful um, you can see a photo of it on my Instagram I'll link that below and I also feel like obviously it's functional and that's what you want, but you don't want it to look like it's so expensive and so luxurious that all your money is going towards the packaging and not so much the quality of the product. And I feel with them, they have really made cute packaging that looks nice, but it still doesn't look like, 
wow, what am I paying for here? So I really, really like that. Um, I'm always looking out for that kind of thing. Next, I'm going to be talking about their brow powders. So what Pony Cosmetics does really well, <laughs> I feel like, is hair-related makeup. So like brows, mascara, brushes, the contour kit um, is obviously makeup. I think that is their only like um, non-hair related product. But if you know what I mean, they're very good at hair. So like your lashes and brows. Um, so I got these two shades. I've got Palomino and Thoroughbred. <laughs> I used to have six horses when I was little, so I love the names. Um, they're types of horses, by the way, in case you didn't. Um, so Palomino is a great shade for blondes. It's not too warm, which I like, and their thoroughbred shade is darker, so it's great for brunettes. I've used both of them. I used this one on a client, and I used this one on myself, the Palomino for the blondes. Me. But I really, really liked it, so big thumbs up for that. It's really a natural brow colour. They're both um, really easy to use. They're not chalky. I liked it. Sticking with the brow theme, I'm going to go on to talk about their brow magic. This is so good. So good. If you guys like, um, like Anastasia Brow Wiz, you will love the brow magic. Um, and it's probably also a more affordable alternative. And if you're in Australia, it's definitely more attainable than Anastasia. Um, and it, it works brilliantly. Also it contains biotin, so that's gonna promote hair growth. Again, they're good at their hair stuff. It's really, really easy to use. I'm wearing it today. It's such a natural color as well, especially for me as a blonde. Um, it just looks like my natural brow hairs. Uh, even if I haven't been using it as like my main brow product, I've always got it underneath because of the biotin. So, um, on that, I've probably been using it for a few weeks now and I haven't noticed like a drastic difference, but my hairs are definitely longer than they normally would be. So I don't know. I don't know if that's because of that or what, but yeah, I really, really like this. I would buy this over and over and over and over and over again. I would, I'd have 10 if I could. I love them. I would definitely recommend this to anyone, especially beginners because of the whole fact that the harder you press, the darker it gets. I feel like you can really be good at it if you're a beginner. Another thing that they have just come out with, I'm pretty sure this is new, um, is the <laughs> contouring brush. And it is really, really nice. I have, um, you probably noticed in my videos, I use the NARS one a lot. But it's kind of scratchy. And it's fine on my face, like to contour um, my face. But when I contour my nose, I want something softer around my eyes. And this is the perfect size for nose contour. Like it just is just perfect. It just fits in there so nicely and blends amazingly. I really like this. I also use this for my contour on my cheeks today. It's just, it's just a good size. Like I feel like some contouring brushes are a little bit too long. Um, like this one, I don't really want my contour all the way up here if you know what I mean. Um, so I feel like this one's a good, just a good size to get the right amount of contour. Do you follow? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I would definitely recommend this to everyone. Everyone can use it. It's really easy to use. Great for beginners because it helps blend really nicely. So definitely a winner. The last product that I got was the White Night Mascara. Now, Okay, when I read about this, I was a bit confused. It basically it says that um, it washes off with a bit of warm water in tubes. And I was like, what? Tubes? But it really does. It really does. It doesn't smudge. It doesn't, like, run like black water, like black tears when you're washing your face. It's just literally comes off in like a little black tube. This girl was talking to me and she was saying um, that she had really watery tear ducts. And I feel like this product would be amazing for that because it's not waterproof. So when you go to wash it off at night, you're not gonna be like scrubbing your face to get it off. But throughout the day, it's not gonna run and you know ruin your makeup or give you big panda eyes. And I'm pretty sure they say like 
no more panda eyes. I think that's what they have on their website and stuff. And it's so true. It is so true. Um, another really cool thing about this is you have the first head, like see how it's got two um, sort of tops to it. You take the first one off and this one is for volume. And then you can take the second one off the top and this one is for length. Um, now what I sort of found with, it's the same brush, so I'll show you. It's the same brush, but basically um, when you take this off, it takes off heaps of extra product. See all that product there? You see that? So that's what it means by length. So you get all the product on the brush if you take it off from the first lid and that's gonna give you all the volume. And then when you use the second lid with less, second wand, same wand, different, you know, you know what I mean. The second top lid, when you use that, it sort of distributes the product evenly and makes the lashes longer. Rather than when you're trying to focus on the top of your lashes and the product just keeps clumping up. That's why I like that because you know that you're gonna get the length without adding more product. And yeah, I think that's a really cool idea. I haven't seen that before. So yeah, I definitely would recommend this to people who have like watery eyes or um, really find it hard to get makeup off at night and things like that. They don't want it to like run down their face. I really like it. It's really good, really good. That's everything that I got. I really, really like Pony Cosmetics. And I really encourage you to check them out, especially if you live in Australia. I think that you would really love their products. And um, if not that, just check out their Instagram. They have amazing posts, especially if you're a brow lover. They have some really cool um, like brow posts and it really just calms me to see good brows. So if, you, if you're having a stressful day and you want to look at some good brows, check out their Instagram. Alright guys, I will see you in my next video. I hope you have a great day. As always, everything will be listed below. You can contact me on all my social media. I love talking to you guys. Um, so yeah, see you next time. Bye. Have you guys noticed I wear a lot of grey? I think I wear grey like every single day. It's a different outfit, I swear.